pretty cozies. Welcome to the little corner of my kitchen. The refrigerator is right behind on this side, so you're just gonna hear a little rumble there while we make some tea. We have some tea time with noble tea because tea time is me time. And that is what the gifter of this tea kettle said in their gift on throne. It was sent anonymously, so I'm not actually sure who sent it, but thank you so much for it. I've been getting a lot of good use out of it, and I decided to finally get around to making a video with it. So... Let's start by lighting these candles. nice glow, isn't it? And this makes a pretty cool zappy sound. I think I might be overloading it at the moment, though. Oh, no. fun little cup that my friend gave me. It says, you know, you are a crazy cat lady when... And it has a bunch of stuff here. One, you talk about your cat to anyone who will listen. Two, your cat eats better food than you do. Three, your cat's bed looks comfier than yours. Four, you jump to your cat's every demand. Five, you apologize to your cat. And apologize is spelled the British way. And six, you take selfies of you and your cat. And on the inside, at the bottom of the cup, it says, I love my cat. And I do. Tea kettle's getting started now. Put some tea down.
by Celestial Seasonings. Oops, I hit my head on the cupboard there. <laughs> there we go. Celestial Seasonings. Herbal Honey Vanilla Chamomile. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this in one of my videos before. Now we're actually making tea out of it. And this is a very casual, impromptu kind of ASMR video. I hope you find it goes in some kind of way though. I know there's a lot more noise than usual with the refrigerator and other exterior noises. Oh, there's the tea. Water's ready. So, just gonna open it up. And pour the tea out. Or pour the water out into the kettle. Give that a bit. <laughs> it's actually a hundred degrees today. That's fun. Not really. But actually, it doesn't get that hot inside here. Well, you get used to it. Most of the time, it's like only 78 degrees inside. I'm sure lighting some candles sure doesn't help. This time of day, though, I do get some nice sunlight shining in from the west window and it stretches across the floor. But this particular corner is rather dark, so we light some cozy candles. Fun fact, I actually made these candles myself. Not the containers they're in. They were from other candle containers that I'd used before. But I did get into candle making a little while back. So, scented some wax, put a wig in there, poured some wax, et voila! And we have some candles. Such pretty little lights. It's a little weird though, because the store-bought candles that you get, the wicks are different. But these, I don't know if the wicks are too big for the containers or what. They just burn differently. But it's nice, isn't it? Nice warm red colors and the flickering light. Anyway, <laughs> this video is mostly to thank the subscriber who so kindly gifted me with this tea kettle. I've had a lot of use out of it. And it's not terribly big. Which means it's the perfect size for just a few cups of tea. So I don't need to make anything too big. Although I do have another electric kettle that just goes straight to boil. But when you like tea and you like different types of tea, you gotta have them at different temperatures. I have mostly just used the presets on the kettle here. There is an option to set it up so Say first thing in the morning you want some hot water for your green tea and that'll schedule it for you. But I haven't really set that up for me. I don't really have a set routine. I do things at certain times of the day, but not really on a schedule like that. Kind of just go with whatever feels right, you know? Anyway, uh, today, or, well, this month is a special month, it is the fourth year anniversary of my channel, so thank you, whoever's watching this. Not my usual content, not at all. <laughs> yeah, thank you for sticking around and allowing me to continue making sometimes very silly content. But I'm glad that you enjoy it and I hope you find comfort in it. I hope it makes you feel a little less alone.
he's probably done by now, right? I didn't actually set a timer, but that's okay. Hmm. Plates are so mesmerizing. I can just stand here watching them. I have the fan on too, so that probably contributes to the light flickering. But anyway, life has been interesting lately. I've been dealing with a lot on my own. And I'm glad that I still have the opportunity to continue making videos. I will actually have a recording of Sleepy Hollow up on the channel a little later in the month. Closer to my channel anniversary. So you'll have kind of a spooky story to help you lull, help lull you to sleep during spooky season. Wouldn't it be cool if I had a jack-o'-lantern that I could light and get some nice flickering here? Such good lights. Anyway, tea's probably done, right? See if we could open that up. Get some steam coming. Can you even see it? a little sweet, even though it doesn't have any sweetener in it. I don't know if it actually has honey in it. And the villas, vanilla is a very warming flavor that goes really well with the mm, sweet and floral chamomile. so good, just the heat. The warmth of a hot drink going down your throat. Even when it's 100 degrees outside. I used to have in my bio that I couldn't go a day without a cup of tea, even in the middle of summer. And in summer, it's really nice to have genmaicha. Uh, green tea with roasted rice it has a nice, nice earthiness to it. Since it is fall now, I have been drinking black tea and putting a little bit of a uh, coffee mate pumpkin spice creamer in it because I am basic when it comes to that. Pumpkin spice makes me happy. It reminds me that, you know, it's fall season now, even if it is 100 degrees outside. And it's time to get cozy. And it's supposed to be a good time. My birthday's in fall. And I might actually post this video on my birthday. I tried not to make a big deal out of my birthdays in the past. I had a weird relationship with my birthday. It's been weird. But now, 
I'm in a different situation, so I hope that I can look forward and put all that stuff behind me and just continue looking forward and growing and becoming the person that I want to be. And the person I want to be is someone who creates these videos that people enjoy and just take little pleasures out of. Make their days a little better, a little more relaxing, make them feel a little less alone, comfort them. <sighs> you know, when you look at videos of other ASM artists who show themselves on video, and you're like, wow, <laughs> they have everything so together. But it's also, it's so humbling when they admit that they have mental health issues. And it's like, you look at them and you're like, you have everything so put together. Like, you seem so serene and I don't think it's just an act. I think it's how they really want to be. It's how they want to present themselves. They want to help other people. They want to help them relax. They want to make them feel like they belong somewhere, that they're cared for, that they're cherished. And I guess you have to have been through a lot of pain to really understand what it means. To want to make sure that nobody else feels that same way. I don't want to talk about my own issues too much, but it has been a lot. But I have the room to grow now. It's been four years. Ah, oh, there's so much noise around me. Well, refrigerator finally turned off, but now, ah, we got somebody using a lot of water somewhere. Uh, I appreciate this tea kettle so much, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure if you got my thank you video or my thank you um, picture that I sent. I just took a picture of it with my other red kitchen stuff and <laughs> well, I mean if you can't tell by my channel logo and <laughs> the banner and everything, I do really like the color red. It's funny though, like it used to be my favorite color and I would say I really like the color but I have been finding myself drawn more toward pinks. Or like this teapot here. It's more of a rusty red color than something crimson like this, which is a beautiful color. It's so pretty. Just like look at the way the light bounces off of it. I'm gonna bring this candle around and you can see how the light reflects off of it. Hmm. <laughs> this is why I don't do, do structured videos because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I just wanted to put something together to show you a little fun stuff that's going on here. Mm. Mm. Enjoy some tea with you. Mm. If anybody else is a tea drinker, what kind of tea do you like? How do you prepare your tea? For the longest time, <laughs> until I got a proper kettle, I just warmed up the tea in the microwave. Just put some water in a mug, put the tea bag straight in there, and just heated it up until it was hot enough. 
And that was how I did it. And that wasn't really until college, maybe? And I was like, you know, some places have little tea shops and they have high tea or afternoon tea and they prepare tea properly. And I was like, I need to learn how to prepare tea properly and drink it properly because it's been around for so long, tea, hundreds, thousands of years. It's to be celebrated and honored and respected and it should be prepared in a mostly correct way. I'm not going to be a terrible snob over it. <laughs> Though I have been called a cheese snob. But the thing is, if all you've ever had is only American cheese, I pity you. Do yourself a favor and get some real cheese. Mind blown. Mmm. The complexities and the flavors and the aromas. Mmm. I love cheese. <laughs> <sighs> Tea and cheese. Yeah. It's a good life when you can just have tea and cheese. Actually, in this little corner, even with the candles lit and it being a hundred degrees outside, it's actually quite cozy, isn't it? Mm. I do feel calmer just standing here in the candlelight, enjoying my chamomile tea, enjoying the flickering candlelight. I'm just rambling. Hmm. If you're still here listening, thank you. It's probably not terribly relaxing, but you know, I don't share a lot about myself. And I do sometimes find it a little uncomfortable too. <laughs> watch other creators life updates sometimes it feels like oh I don't know if I know you well enough to watch this like I feel intrusive even if you're sharing it but they're willing to share it and oftentimes when I watch them I'm like oh I have a different understanding of you now a different kind of respect and usually, <laughs> I come away grateful that I had watched the thing that they dared to share about themselves. <laughs> no pressure on anybody else to feel the same way about it. Just sharing my own thoughts about it. <sighs> I usually lift the top off of this after it's done heating up some water so the rest of it can just evaporate and then leave it clean for the next time that I decide to have some tea is life now. It was a little hard adjusting at first, thinking this, this is my life. This is what I'm gonna have to deal with for the next year. And I'm finding ways to work around it. And thinking, you know, I will try my hardest. And I'm going to make this year the best that I can make it. And I understand what's in my control and what I can change and what I can't. 
and keep striving to make things better for myself and for my work. And trust that I will do what I need to do to take care of myself. Taking a big leap and trusting yourself that you will take care of things by yourself, it's scary. But I also feel like I had no choice. I needed to do what I had to do to take care of myself. And here we are. <laughs> Enduring that wonderful road right over there. Making tea and talking into stereo microphones. It's a nice Late afternoon glow fills the living room from the west window. And we're looking down at flickering candlelight. Let's pour out the rest of this. It's all gone. <laughs> Great. <sighs> well, this has been a rather long and rambly thank you video for the person who bought this amazing tea kettle for me. <laughs> I did hope you find it somewhat relaxing. Let me know if you want more tea time type videos like this. Let me know what you've been up to. Mm, let me know if you want to have more catch-up time. Well, thank you again. I hope you found this somewhat relaxing. Have a good one.